Hey, let me take a minute to talk a little bit about autoimmune disorder. Now, I believe I've uh, experienced it in my long life because I had buckwheat and that puts your immune system into overdrive. One of the side effects from using the buckwheat and the uh, immune problem was uh, scaly knees, like my knees would turn white because I'd have that extra skin. There's a deer watching me. I don't know if I can get that. And yeah, I didn't realize it until much, much later after using the buckwheat that uh, I was developing that. I, I mean, I'll have buckwheat every so often, but just not as frequently as I thought I needed to consume it. Plus I was overeating anyway, so my the combination of, of uh, weakening liver from overeating and, and then taking um, like herbs and, and grains that stimulate the immune system really combine to start uh, sh outer sh showing on my skin pretty much that's that's what it did is uh, it, I mean your skin is your second liver and it shows up so wow that's greasy <laughs> um, it's it's just another sign um, and I was I was feeling kind of weird too, but it's it's hard to describe uh, that feeling so much. I think I can change the streaks on this, but uh, yeah, that's something to consider. Um, there's other types of plants and herbs that uh, also uh, stimulate the the immune system, like your echinacea. Uh, you'd you'd have like the aerial parts for uh, prevention and then if you had a full-blown issue then uh, take the root because that's supposed to be stronger um, what I also noticed well that's more antibiotic the uh, uh, burdock seeds tend to be the most antibiotic tasting medicine medicine type of plant um, but yeah, my my uh, scaly knees cleared like that white the white patches on my knees that excess skin cleared up when I got off of buckwheat, and that that ended it. That that you know that was the problem. There's too much of a, a particular grain can can start causing issues with the, with the tissues. So that's why once again it's important to practice variety. With, with your diet and not just try to rely too much on one particular um, plant or grain. Too many oats, you know, some people say oats are healthy, but too many oats are not that healthy because they'll start wearing away at a particular function of your body. With the, they provide sugar, so you, you may be taxing your um, that pan the pancreas a little too much, having to process it into energy, you know, you'd, you'd uh, switch over to wheat, and then and that'll, uh, that's supposed to be more of a stomach settler, and then, and, and then, uh, trans, pr then, uh, eat more, uh, barley, that's, that's supposed to stimulate the lymph, so, um, the buckwheat is tasty, it, it's, it's pretty good, especially when it's toasted, uh, that costs a little extra, but, uh, you know, it's it's good to still consume from time to time. Mix it in. You know, you have those those uh, multi-grain type of um, formulas. I mean, you you could pay the extra money having them do it, or you could buy the the grain separately yourself and mix them yourself. You know, like muesli. I mean, that's wheat and barley and a couple other grains, sunflowers. You could just mix all that yourself. Just, just don't eat uh, one grain by itself because you'll start getting repercussions from that such as with buckwheat and the autoimmune disorder. I think my immune system is pretty pretty normal but it does get unnormal. It, it doesn't feel normal uh, when I consume too much of one thing. Or it, you know the environment also can be a, a factor too. I mean there are some sick cities, sick homes, a home could be um, like dis like has a nasty chemical in it or even mold. Mold is almost up there with nasty chemicals and, and reactions.